part one. White clouds. Wow, this is still Pegasus part one. Moon, throne of knowledge. The northern lands are enveloped in a bitter cold, and frigid winds are carried across the sea to the south of Adrestia. When feather white snow falls on Fodlin's locket, the fort looks as delicate as a pearl. However, beneath that snowy blanket, her throat is more treacherous than ever. They have an interesting way of establishing a bit of exposition during the beginning of each month. I kind of like that. Welcome back one and all to Fire Emblem Three Houses. I am the Dark Seraph. Last time, Sothis and Violeth became one and the same. I am thou, thou art I. They are made a persona joke. Anyway, we have a more powerful sword of the Creator. And I think Rhea is related Rhea, please, to, talk to me. What are you hiding? Byleth. What is the meaning of how that one looks? It is almost as though... As I said, there is nothing of which to speak. For now. At the end of this month... That's... Byleth is either her child or her niece slash nephew. I read Gerald's diary. I happened upon it in his room. What? In it, he stated the reason for his departure. The baby, thought to have died in the fire, has returned to us. Gerald realized that you had done something to the child and decided to flee. What did you do to that baby, Rhea? Nothing questionable, I should hope. Set us enough. They will be here shortly. No more, I beg of you. I will take our dear professor to the holy tomb. There. I should be able to see our dearest wishes to fruition. When I was young, I heard her voice there. I'm sure of it. You may enter. I have been awaiting your arrival, Professor. Now that you have received sacred power from the Goddess, there is somewhere you must pay a visit to at once. You must go to the Holy Tomb, so that you may receive a divine revelation from the Goddess. Um, uh, about that... The Holy Tomb is where the Goddess sleeps. This monastery was originally built for the purpose of protecting that hallowed temple. Only a select few know of it, but there is a legend about Seros and the Holy Tomb. Saint Seros, the first soul to be gifted power from the Goddess, received her revelation there. She was told that it was her sacred duty to save the people of Fodlin, and that she must use her power wisely in order to lead them. The words that were handed down to Seros from the Goddess will likely fall upon your ears as well. Prepare yourself to go at once. There may you find out why you were blessed with such power. There will be a ceremony at the Holy Tomb. It is then that you will receive the Goddess's revelation. You may share this mission with your students. A mission? Now? It is said that when Seros received the revelation, she had holy warriors by her side protecting her. Your students, who have followed you and fought alongside you through the darkest of times, are well suited to stand by you for the ceremony. Of course, as the leader of the Church of Seros, I will be by your side as well. Isn't that dangerous? The Holy Tomb is a sacred temple that is sealed off from the rest of the world. There is nothing to fear. Even if something were to happen, I am more than capable of protecting myself. Much has changed, but your duty has not wavered. Steal your mind for the ceremony and prepare your students well. Why isn't her why isn't Rhea wearing her sleeves? That bothers me. Hilda's birthday. Uh flowers. Oh, wow, thanks. 
But I understand Hilda's not much of a favorite. Cameron's birthday, some flowers. I still have the sad music. The enlightened one class. What a strange feeling. I kind of wanted to be a hero. Okay, certifications. Now I guess I can still make myself a hero class. But that would actually be have me worse off. Interesting. Where is my little buddy? There you are, buddy. Okay, Cyril. You're now a Wyvern Rider. I like how you can build your un your army however you want. And Flane, you wanted to be a priest. Not as precious as Mercedes. Although you do look rather precious in that. I have succeeded. You have indeed. Let's make you a fortress knight now. No need to see that, let's just skip that over. There's some clipping, but it's acceptable. It's weird. I could be any one of these classes I want to be, but it wouldn't do me any good. It is so weird to see this. Half dark, half light. It's interesting. Not against it by any means. I can make you a warlock when you hit reason, or a bi I think that's what you wanted to be anyway, warlock. You already have good faith. House magic tournament. Okay. Let's explore. I can't hear Sothis' voice anymore. And sure enough, she isn't here. Remember Baron Detta's room was one of these. Oh, there's Raphael. You look so different. You're still our professor in there, right? Did anything else change besides your hair and eyes? Are your arms bigger? How do your abs look? 
I haven't changed that much. That's disappointing. What's even the point? Good to see you, Professor. I was just on my way to train. So... Strength and heavy armor. Yeah, you're a big guy. Hey, Annette. Hello. Felix. What? what? Hurry up and cage. Look, he's losing his grip. Even in his swordplay, he's getting sloppy. If he keeps progressing like this, he's going to get himself killed. Kranya, Solon, they're dead, but we still have a glut of enemies. We still have to take down the Death Knight and the Flame Emperor. Our next battle is fast approaching. I'm ready for it. I have a request. Sure. A dagger. Sick. Uh, yeah, Annette. I think you can handle this. I believe in you, Annie. Lawrence. Oh, I didn't know she had a crest. I don't think so. Yeah, I think she has this in the bag. That worked out. He couldn't even mount a single damp bit of damage. Lindhart. Not a lot of damage. What's done is done. Dorothea, now this will be a challenge. I had no choice. Hubert. Another potential challenge. What's done is done. Listeria. This is where things will... Yeah. I don't see a chance. Wait! Ooh. I had no choice. Damn good work, Annie. Professor, please, if he hears it from you that he needs to rest, perhaps his highness will listen. He's exaggerating. He thinks my color is off and that rest will cure all. I have a headache, but that's just from lack of sleep. It's not going to stop me from completing this month's mission. Take a nap. The professor agrees. Please rest, at least until the task is at hand. I won't. Even if I tried, it's not like I would get any decent sleep. It would only be a waste of time. <sighs> In any case, we won't let you down this month, Professor. You can rely on us. Hurry up and cage the water. Look, he's loose, Kranya. So we still our next bat.
I can't even imagine what it must be like inside the holy tomb. Well, it's probably a grave, that much is for sure, and it's likely underground. Beyond that, who knows? I can't help but wonder, though, just what kind of ritual is this? I don't know. Hmm. This isn't mine. Hmm. 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 That's definitely going to be what's his names at the dormitory. Raphael. Hey. I don't have any bait. Maybe. Uh, yes. You're going to the ritual at the holy tomb. What if she shows her? You want to be on my oh, professor? Fruit? I'd like to learn more about. Uh, dexterity and authority. Interesting. Oh, and Baron, the girl, the shut-in girl, is here. Hey there. She's in her room. Anything else change? Oh, hey! There's some support, I'll do that in a bit. She's a little ways down in her room. I doubt she'll even want to speak with me. She is shy. She has anxiety. Well, whoever's room this is likes fishing. She's in there. Still reluctant to speak face to face. So hungry. Oh, is that you, Professor? Sorry. I'm really not feeling well this month. Even leaving my room for dinner is just too much. It's got nothing to do with your, um, changes. So, um, don't open the door, please. You poor thing. Um,. I'm trying. Strength and bow. So sorry. Even it's. She needs to eat something. I'm gonna get her some dinner at the tra at the mess hall. I'm gonna look for something she would like. Because I see there's stuff in here even people outside my house don't like. But it appears the purple-haired little shut-in is a picky eater. She likes stew, but I need Verona, those tomato things. Okay. How about something simple? Like a pasta salad. She needs to eat something. There's gotta be somebody else in my group who needs some motivation. Ash, sure. Ooh, this is my favorite. 
You've got great taste. I'm glad you this like looks it. It's delicious. Let's eat. It's amazing that I wasted a potential motivation because I care about a person who isn't even in my house and I cannot recruit. That is... I'm a strange person. Okay, Mercedes. How about... some jelly? I enjoy baking sweet. Hmm. I see. Cooking is much... Okay, now let's do some support conversations. Uh, Dedu and Felix. Uh, it'll take time before that bond is deepened and ready. Okay. Ingrid. Are you injured? Dedu. Saving the day again? Apologies. Well, these are some awkward line deliveries. I'm the one who owes you an apology. You've saved my life how many times now? If I keep being so callous, I'll seem ungrateful. No matter. But... I'm accustomed to it. I'm sorry to do. Why? Because the way I speak to you is unnecessarily harsh. The truth of it is... I lost someone very dear to me in Dusker. The punishment came swift to your people, and when I heard of the slaughters, well, I thought it was a punishment well earned. I thought the people cruel and heartless, deserving of the tragedy that ultimately befell them. But you, you're different. You seem nothing like the people of whom I speak. So why not speak back against how I and so many others feel? Why not question this unfair prejudice and tell me I haven't the right to hold a grudge against you? She's aware of her prejudice. That's interesting. If you just speak to me, if you tell me the truth about all of this. I do not know the truth of it myself. His Highness says the tragedy was not the fault of my people, but just like anywhere, there were many different people in Dusker, some very good and others very bad. It is not unimaginable that some may have conspired to take part in that wickedness. Perhaps we are merely victims. Or perhaps we are regicidal monsters. Whatever the truth of it is, you are not to blame. The people I hate are the ones who no, are No one really knows. Us. You... You just got caught up in all of it. Ingrid. You've rushed to my side. You've saved me countless times. I am sorry for how I've treated you. Truly. If you think of me as your ally, that will suffice. For me, that is enough. That's interesting. Felix and Dedu still can't do that one. Mercedes still can't, can't do that one. And... Annette, I swear if you make Hello, her cry Felix. again. So, uh, it was your turn to clean out the greenhouse, right? Yes. Well, I went ahead and took care of it. I also cleaned up the warehouse. Why? I just wanted to help you out. So that. Okay, fine. I'm bribing you. So you'll forget. Forget what? Are you really gonna make me say it? Before, in the greenhouse, I want you to forget what you saw and heard. If you agree to forget about it, I'll take your shift in the stables. Do we have a deal? No, thanks. No? But that's not okay! You have to forget about it, right this moment! I can't. It's permanently etched in my memory. <laughs> a mountain of sweets. As well as steaks and cakes. Stacks of them, apparently. I'm also intrigued by those bear and swamp beastie songs you mentioned. Ah, and I've been meaning to ask about the move that went along with Crumbs and Yums. Was that fencing footwork? Oh, stop it, Felix! You're a villain! <laughs> He's teasing her. <laughs> you think you're so funny? Keeping a straight face while mocking my singing and dancing? 
Well, you have to forget about it. Please. What if I make you a nice steak dinner? You like steak, don't you, Felix? It'll be yummy. This isn't about steak. I just... Fine. Be stubborn. Tell the whole world for all I care. I'll just learn to live with the funny looks I'll get from everyone. They'll all say, there goes that Annette, the girl with the funny ideas about food. You're just the evilest of villains, Felix. I'll hate you forever and ever! Hmm. I was just trying to be nice. Funny ideas about food? Even the bullies in her head are ridiculous. I really don't understand that girl. <laughs> Ashen Mercedes. Whoa, what happened? The pants smoking. <coughs> Mercedes, what's going on? Uh, my eyes. I can barely breathe. Oh, Ash, I'm so glad you're here. My cooking's not going very well at all. What did you put in there? I used some of this spice, that seasoning, and the herbs on the top shelf. Then I started frying it in oil. That explains it. <laughs> we use that herb for smoke bombs. Why is it in the kitchen? The cover the pan. Oh no. The people in the dining hall don't look so good. Sorry, everybody. Could we clear out the dining hall for a few minutes, please? Why is it in the kitchen? Well, some folks were a little annoyed, but at least we got the place cleared out. It's a good thing no one mistook all that smoke for an attack. That could have been a disaster. I'm so sorry. I always mess everything up. No, it's my fault. I should have taught you which herbs to avoid. Don't blame yourself. I just need to figure out how to do it right for next time. Next time? You still want to try again, even after all that? Of course! If I didn't, that would just be a waste of everything you taught me. I guess that's true. If you quit every time you made a mistake, then you'd never learn anything, right? That's a great point. Ah, maybe my mistake was frying the herb in oil. If I had boiled it instead, then there wouldn't be smoke. What do you think, Ash? Boiling, huh? Yeah, then be fine. Great! I'm going to get this right next time for sure. The herb probably isn't very good if they use it for smoke bombs. And again, why is it in the kitchen? <clears throat> Cyril, okay. Sorry, I know it, but it's hard to say. You're from Almira, aren't you? I hope you haven't been uncomfortable here at the Academy. Ah, oh, it's great. I eat every day. <laughs> Were you not eating before you came here? Every couple days, maybe. It was rough. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Are you hungry? Um... You should eat up. To make up for all the meals you missed in the past. It's <laughs> not okay. healthy. Thank you, Mer... Mammal... Mar... Just call me Mercy. That's what my friends call me. Mercy. Mercy? Hey! Thanks, Mercy. Well, I had a good sleep, but there's work to do now. See ya. Merci. It doesn't seem like he has very many friends here. It's troubling, but I probably shouldn't pry. You're gonna pry, aren't you? Felix and people I haven't got enough yet. 
For whatever reason. Oh, and Flane? I swear, if you make her cry, I will hurt you. I will throw you into the face of a beast. Why are you here? You're interrupting. Oh, uh, my apologies. I simply thought you were doing a great job. Just how sharp is that blade of yours, Felix? Do you imagine you might be able to cut something cleanly with it? Probably. Ah, wonderful. I have a special request for you, then. You want me to cut this firewood? I do. I shall toss them one by one to you, and you shall make a sweeping blow to slice them. Sounds like a chore. I saw a knight do it once, so surely you can as well. Or perhaps you are worried that you are not capable. What? I am more than capable. He just... she just right. suckered him. Show me what you are made of. Here it comes. <sighs> Doing them one by one is tedious. Just throw them all at once. All of them? If you insist. Here we go! Wow, you truly are spectacular! I know. <laughs> you are you such are a prick! the most revered woodcutter in all the land! Now I am intrigued. Next time, let us try an even larger woodpile! Why did I agree to this? Because you like to show off, because you're a prick. Oh yes, Flane and Sylvain, yep. Hey there, Flane. I thought I'd drop by and see if you'd care for a... <coughs> now, just a moment, Sylvain. If you must speak with me, I implore you to do so from where you stand. My apologies if this comes across as rude, but please do not come any closer to me. Okay. Excuse me? Okay. I am sorry. My brother has explicitly warned me not to go near you. Seth said that? I bet he also told you any woman who comes too close to me is, how does he say it, doomed to misfortune? He used those very words. Is it true then? Come Kinda. On. He's just messing with you, obviously. Of course I would prefer to believe that, but one can never know for certain. Particularly when similar stories are constantly in circulation about you. I have heard that men and women alike have been seduced by your nefarious ways. Men? Okay, I always pegged you as a skirt chaser. Hey, who am I to judge? I hate to suggest my talents are being oversold, but... I have heard that you toy with people's emotions, like a cat toys with its prey. Do I really look like such a villain to you? Kinda. Well, perhaps not. You do not strike me as much of a charmer. <laughs> when you put it like that, I feel like I should defend... Yeah, forget it. Let's get to the actual point. Did I not tell you, Sylvain? Stay away from me! It's kind of awkward talking from so far away. Can I please step just a little...? Truly, there are countless terrible stories of your behavior. I've heard that you panic when there aren't women around to flirt with, that you've gone as far as flirting with horses and even chickens! Oh, come on! Who would even... You should know that your brother has an overactive imagination. I would like to believe that you are a sincere and reputable person, Sylvain. He really isn't. But there is no smoke without fire. Or so the saying goes. I may not be the most respectable fellow you'll ever meet, but... Until I can be certain, please refrain from coming too close to me. Now, if you will excuse me, I must be on my way. Flame, wait! Come back! And she's gone. All I was trying to do was deliver a message. Flame, hey! The professor said we need to come to the cathedral! I'll run really far ahead so you don't have to walk near me! There, I tried telling her. The professor can't be mad about that. Yes, I can! I'm annoyed by that. You should have got to the point. Okay. Petra's here. She can usually teach you things. Hey, puppy dog. 
Oh no, she's just another house member. And Bridget, we have legends. Those yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah. Okay, Starfire. Eyes that glow. They have qualities that are not unlike what you are looking like, Professor. I can't fly. Are you knowing that for certain? Oh my God. Training has given me great butt. You have given. Dexterity and writing. Okay. Petra really reminds me of Starfire. A trout. Why can't I buy bait? Oh, yes. You. Shamir, you're the one who can teach me a few things. <clears throat> People who live in an or is Fodlan some mystical land full of inhuman creatures? Is the world really that different outside Fodlan? You should see for yourself. I'd recommend exploring. Uh. Lance and bow. Working hard, aren't you? I can assist with any tasks or help with your students. On it. I'm available anytime I'm And now I have you on my side. Gilbert and Catherine. Well, there's Gilbert. Sometimes where I should have been all alone. I won't stop I you. I hear that lady. She's the. Uh, I have request. a request. Except. Lance Axe. <sighs> and Catherine. In our battle, but once we it will happen. Uh, faculty training. Sword and brawl. Interesting. You can bump me all the way up to D. Sure. I still have. In our bad, bad. Once it will happen. Sister. Professor. Oh, Professor, I am so but she wants to do something at the hope whenever it has been. Might you help me with a favor? I can invite you to tea. I don't know about that. Captain. Oh, I was just haven't made clearing out. Instruct manually. You need to work on your writing because I'm going to work on making you a paladin. would be one point away, wouldn't you? Oh, you're a sniper! That's interesting. What can you do with this? I'm curious. 
You could use a little more work into your reason. I would like... I would... Group tasks. Stable duty with Sylvain. S Sylvain. And Ingrid. Okay. Begin lecture. A question. Go right ahead. Some people hate spiders or centipedes, but they have no strong feeling towards flies or crickets. Why is that? <clears throat> it has to do with the legs. Some people cannot stand things with a lot of legs. <sighs> Whatever you say. Personally, I quite like spiders, and I'm not bothered by centipedes. Never skip like day. Hey, Ingrid, this kind of work is definitely your thing, and I've got some urgent business, so... I can't finish this all alone. Try to be helpful sometimes, Sylvain. Besides, you need to get your helpless? writing better. You need to get better at writing, man. <laughs> How's that, Professor? If you... Yes, so... I'm really getting the hang of this. I'm happy. There's so much left to learn. I'm getting the hang of this. Frozen Lance. Well worth the effort. This isn't so hard. Why am I even in here? Well, I guess I could make you a bishop. But you don't have high enough faith. Well, what's my paralogue? Between Gerald, between that dude and Shamir. You know what? I'll do this next time. Join me then on Fire Emblem Three Houses as I... See what Shamir and that guy's quest is. But until then, I am the Dark Seraph, signing off.